What's up guys, Axe and Good Time Gaming. It is day five of the search for Kento in Payday 2. This one's coming out a little bit late because I didn't have a chance to get the video up earlier. And it wasn't like super, super important because it's just like paper craft stuff and a little story that I shall tell you all. So as far as the paper craft stuff goes, this one is dubbed the crazies. So this one is basically all the uh, mentally unstable people, I guess, that are in the um, Payday crew as well as Bobblehead Bob. So that's like kind of a nice little um, add-on there. So you can do Bobblehead Bob, there's the Deagle, there's Jacket, Jimmy, Sydney, the OV9000 saw, and then the little background you can do is Jewelry Store, which actually looks pretty decent. I like how that one looks. Um, again, I still haven't had really any chance or motivation to try and make one of these in real life. So I don't know. Maybe at some point, right? But more importantly, um, I know what I talked about in the last one that I was going to tell a little story at the very end. So I'm going to tell you guys a story about how I um, almost got arrested once and I ran about half a dozen cars off the road. So if you're not interested in that, then that's it for the video. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. But if you're interested in that, then stick around and I will tell you all about it. So about three or four years ago, I was, um, I was working a different job. Um, I was working for a community mental health agency, um, getting really shitty pay, uh, having pretty horrible health care, um, basically just not great as far as that goes. I mean, I was happy with what I was doing, I liked what I was doing, but everything else about it was just pretty bad. And one of the things we got to do that was really cool, or a nice little opportunity that I kind of created for myself, was that um, one of the local schools and one that I had like almost all of my uh, kids at that I saw they had a whole like suite of um, iPods and iPads and so at that time like Minecraft and Minecraft is still big but it was like even bigger back then um, and Minecraft was really big and so I kind of put together this whole after-school club every Monday so like all the elementary kids would come and they had like after-school program anyways um, they either stay for that or they just come specifically for it and we would have like competitions in Minecraft they could like play in small groups we would have some of the competitions we give away like gifts and like presents and like uh, stuff like that it was really awesome it was a super amazing experience I love doing it but um one day we were doing the group and everything and I just remember getting like really really irritated and just like fed up with the kids like I was really mad at them um and I just like kind of gave up and I remember like I felt really kind of I found it like, kind of funny and uh, I was like sweating a lot, but I didn't really know what was going on. I just thought I was like frustrated or whatever, you know, I just kind of chalked up to being tired or whatever and just went on with it. And, um, you know, group wrapped up and I was supposed to go and visit um, one of the teacher, one of the teachers at the school. I was kind of friends with her and then her uh, kids thought it was really cool. So I was going to go over there for dinner afterwards. And um, so that was kind of my plan. And so I remember leaving the school and I have this memory of like standing outside of my car but not knowing how to get inside of it and just kind of like stumbling around like and feeling really tired I don't under I don't really know if it happened or if it's something I kind of like made up in my head but I have that memory but um, what happened after that was I left uh, that town and I drove about 15 miles to um, the next town over which is where our office was and which is also where um, that teacher lives and I thought to myself whenever I got there like you know I'm really tired like I'm just gonna go home and you know she'll understand uh, she'll understand that I just felt really tired and that's why I didn't come over and so I kept on kind of going and through this whole time like I just felt like exhausted um, I could not keep my eyes open um, I was kind of like drifting all over the road like I'd have to like kind of like force myself to um, open my eyes and it's like I kind of like drift off for a little bit then I get back into consciousness and drift off again it was really um, it was weird but at no point I thought you know hey maybe I, I should stop driving or like maybe um, there's something else going on I just kept on going and about like maybe 14 15 miles later on um, going in through another small town and this one a semi truck was stopped in front of the in like the roadway right and there was a police car on my left and like so I kind of stopped because the semi was there but then the police car is on my left and I just did not 
like want to stop like I just I didn't have it mentally in me to stop so I tried to like go past the police car but it was in the way so I had to just like stop and I put it in park and then like turned off everything and like the police officer dude got out and he was like yelling at me or whatever and so he took me out of the car uh, didn't cuff me or anything and put me in the back of um, his vehicle which was like pulled over on the side of the road so I was on the side of the road I was, I was in the, my car I think was in the road I think he moved it to the side and then I um, was just like laying in the back of the police car and so I'm just back there and um, some uh, I think the officer comes back and asks if I have like if I've been drinking or something like that and I said like no I think and then he asked if I have any health problems I tell him I'm diabetic which is true so um, some EMTs show up and they like there's like a convenience store like right up the road so they go up there and they get like a, um, a soda like a coke for me and they bring it back and I drink it and I just rebound I feel 100% better like I don't have any like I'm standing I'm like aware of things um, I'm just like back to regular normal self and apparently what had happened is there had been about like four or five people that had called 911 because they thought that I was like somebody they didn't know it was me like who I was but like they had, there was like somebody driving on the road and they thought they were drunk or whatever and so they thought that the cop thought I was drunk because of you know the calls he was getting and you know he had rolled up on the scene fully aware of this and like thinking that he's gonna arrest you know a drunk driver and then actually it was like a medical issue like, my blood sugar had, I guess had dropped so badly it like started to drop I guess while I was probably at the school and then just like was so low after that that I um, just I didn't was not in my right mind and it's only ever happened once um, since then but it's really weird to describe because like you just don't like function like normal like your brain does not work like it's supposed to because your brain uses glucose as energy right to, like help power itself and when your blood sugar is low you don't have enough of that so it's like cognitively mentally you're just like completely off and so um, after you know, drinking that uh, soda, I felt much better after that, and I was totally fine to wear. And, uh, you know, the officer, I think, said something like to the effect that, like, the original charge is going to be, like, uh, endangerment, other people, and some other. There's, like, three or four things he said, but, you know, obviously, you know, you weren't, you had, like, a medical problem, so it's not like, um, you know, you weren't, like, drunk or anything like that. So he just, like, cut me loose, um, didn't charge me with anything, didn't have to go to court and nothing like that. It was just uh, very... I don't know, it was very awesome he did that, because, I mean, he could have easily, um, I could have easily been charged with something, because, I mean, even if I wasn't, like, medically in the right place, I and mean, I still could have caused uh, harm to other people, you know, people had to swerve off the road, because I was, like, kind of all over the place, um, from what I understand, I, I ran, like, six or seven cars off the road, it was pretty bad, so, um, no charges for me, no nothing for me, I got to walk away from that one scot-free, uh, and that, that was the first time that it happened, I never had a my blood sugar like bottom out like that um, I've had lows before but never one like that where I just did not know what the hell was going on so it was pretty scary um, it was pretty weird um, there's a few other weird things I've had with my health since then but um, not any time within the last few years I mean, it was pretty much whenever I was working there because you know our insurance was really bad we didn't get paid a whole lot so like I didn't really take care of myself very well and I do a much better job with that now since I get paid more and I have much better insurance. So that's uh, good news there. But that is that story. Um, it was pretty it's pretty interesting. It's one of the things I kind of tell every once in a while to some of my uh, clients. And I have a couple kids that I see that um, have type 1 diabetes like I do. So I usually share that kind of story with them just to kind of motivate them to check their blood sugar and to you know, take care of themselves. So that's my story of how I almost... Uh, got arrested and I ran a bunch of cars off the road. Uh, not one of my prouder moments, but one that I can kind of look back on and laugh and, you know, tell you guys and hopefully entertain you all. So, if you've had any horrible medical events or scares happen, then please uh, share that. Let me know in the comments below. If you have diabetes like I do, then please let me know. I'd like to hear from you. But otherwise, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. This is Axiom Good Time Gaming. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like anything you saw today. And remember to always take good care of your health.